Hey, what is going on guys? It's Little Bigness here. And welcome back to my brand new series called Showdown Sundays. In the last episode, we built our team around Mega Metagross, and that went pretty well. We would have won the battle, but he forfeited. So, I mean, that's just what happens. Anyway, we're building our team around Choice Scarf Diggersby, requested by my good friend Anthony, aka User Friendly. Link will be in the description below if I do remember. But anyway, it's Choice Scarf. It's got Earthquake Return, Thunder Punch, and U Turn. Then we got a Mega Venusaur. This is going to be our big tank right here. Sludge Bomb, Geek Drain, Toxic, and Leech Seed. We got a Physical Wall Arc 9 with Extreme Speed, Flamethrower, Morning Sun, and Will O Wisp. We got a Focus Sash Azelf with Stealth Rock. Uh, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Ice Punch to kill the dragons. We got a Life Orb Scissor with Bullet Punch, Knockoff, Roost, and Swords Dance. And then we got a Choice Specs Zapdos with Heat Wave, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, and Signal Beam. So anyway, I say we get right into this battle. So as you guys can probably hear in the background, we got a song request from my viewer, Amy Rose Forever. And she requested Dialga and Palkia's theme from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and it's a very good song, so I like that she requested it. I see the Lando T lead here, or the Mammoth Mine lead, and what counters both of those? That's what I'm trying to think about right now. I don't have any water moves. A rock move would help. I guess my Azelf is just the best setup right here. I am fairly weak to rocks with my Arcanine and my Zapdos, so I bet he wants to get up rocks. And I think his... Now that I'm looking at it, I bet his Mamoswine is going to set up the rocks with the Focus Sash Mamoswine. Orlando T comes in. Alright, that's fine though. Now do... Uh, that's what I'm wondering right here. Do I want to go for the Ice Punch? I don't think I do. But I want to keep the Azelf around most likely to go for the Ice Punch on the Lando T. Because Lando T is always a problem for me. It just always happens to be that way. See, I went for the Hefty U-Turn. That did a lot of damage. I wasn't worried though because I knew that Ice Punch would... Or, I've got the Focus Sash and that's why I wasn't worried. <laughs> But yeah, I gotta keep it for the Ice Punch. Now, I'm expecting a Bullet Punch right here, and my Arcanine takes that best. So, oh shoot. <laughs> That's awkward, just doing that. <laughs> That's what happens when you move around your mouse like that, and you're doing Window Capture. Oh, we gotta turn on the timer, because we don't want this battle to go on too long. By the way, now that I'm on that topic, I'll mention it. Sorry, I'm really sorry that this is gonna be late, but, uh... I had a 27 minute battle uh, for my first recording and that didn't, it ended up not being well because number one, I've got slow internet, so just uploading that was bad. It, I slept all the way through the night and it still didn't upload. But number two, it was a really stally battle with my Mega Venusaur uh, kind of playing a bit of a stally role at the end and then I also had a Breloom on the other side, there was another guy who had a Breloom, and it was a Stolly Breloom, it wasn't exactly a regular Breloom set that you normally see, so. I'm not sure if I expect the Earthquake or the Stone Edge, and that's what worries me right here. I'm feeling the Venusaur is the best switch, but it could stay in and go for the U-Turn, that's what I'm kind of thinking might happen right here. So you know what, yeah. We'll go with it. We'll just go for another will wisp There's so many things on his team that I want to burn. I want to burn the Lando T. I want to burn the Mammoth Swine. I want to burn the Bisharp. I want to burn the Scizor. Those are things that I need to do. The knockoff comes in, knocks off my leftovers all right. So I'm pretty sure this is Scarfed uh, Lando T. And that makes me say to stay in and just go for Morning Sun. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Just recover. I could switch out to my Venusaur too, but I don't think it's too useful at this point. Hydreigon comes in. Alright. So the Hydreigon might want to go for a Toxic on me. Best switch is the Venusaur, no doubt. 
because not only is it just a good switch in general because the moves Hydreigon packs, but I can also if it want, I can also poison it, and that would really help out a lot. Poisoning the Hydreigon could be really important. So it's looking like a lot of status in this battle is going to be important for me, and I can see that because I mean I burned the Lando T. Now that thing is just fast. That's all it is now. It's not going to hit too hard anymore. And then burning the Bisharp and the Scizor will be important. Dark Pulse comes in. I am specially defensive. I didn't take that as well as I thought I would. But, that's fine. We'll go for the Leech Seed. Yeah, I got 328 special defense right there. Then when I Mega Evolve, I probably have like 400 special defense. I don't know. Dark Pulse comes in. Alright, the Leech Seed. 372, that's all. Alright. Well, I want to keep this Venusaur around. Just to tank some hits, you know. And I can't exactly stay in if the Dark Pulses are doing this much. So... I might have to sack something off. It might switch out, actually. I'll just go for the safe cage drain. Why not? I don't want to sack anything off just yet. So... Dark... It's a crit! No! <laughs> Damn it! That's bad. That's my Mega down the drain. Alright. It's not my new goal, it's just to burn everything. Is this... Ooh, this Hydreigon might be Choice Scarfed. Now that I think about it. If it's Choice Scarfed... Ooh, what can I do? It's going for Dark Pulses all over the place. I have Dazzling Gleam on the Azelf, but that's not gonna outspeed, no! Eh, I'll go out to the Zapdos, I guess. He'll probably take it the best, so. This Hyterion could be Specs, too. I think it's Choice. That's the thing. If it switches out when I send in this Zapdos, I'll know it's Choice. Alright. Signal Beam's looking good here. So, I think I'll go for it. I mean, I am spec, so this will hit really hard. And it's super effective, I believe. Okay, yeah, it switched out. It's choice. Alright. Now, the Land of T will stay in. And I'm guessing it wants to go for a Stone Age. It's just kind of obvious. And my Scizor probably takes the Stone Edge the best, so I think I'll switch it in right now. So, yeah, then it'll go for a Stone Edge, and then what will happen after that is that... Yeah, this is perfect. Oh, Knock Off comes in. Life Orb. Alright, I can take that. So yeah, it's Choice, and it's not gonna keep on going for Knock Off, I can tell you that right now. So I'll go for a Sword Stance, it's free. Right. So I'm expecting him to switch out right here. It's just I, he might switch out to Hydreigon. No, he wouldn't. He ex he probably expects me to be packing the Bug Bite. The Bisharp comes in. That's a good switch. It's a really good switch. I can't believe I didn't see that. All right. Well, I can't send in my Arcanine right now because the Defiant. So Zapdos might be a good switch. Diggersby could be a good switch. And it, yeah, I think I'll switch into Diggersby. Why not? Or actually, yeah, it's tight. Let's go into the Zapdos. It's gonna hit harder. They're both hitting super. And that's what matters. All right, Low Kick comes in. All right, that doesn't do anything. Wait, the low kick came in, then it expected me to switch out to the Diggers beat. That's what happened right there. But it's probably gonna switch out to like a Lando T or Mammoth Swine, maybe. I gotta go for the Heat Wave. It's my only option right here. 
Now, what do I think will... Who's... I'm not sure what's going to come in right here. I could see... Land MT. I could see... Mana Swine, maybe? Sucker Punch. Okay. The hacks are against me today. With the crit on the Venusaur and the Heat Wave missing. He's going to go for another Sucker Punch. We all know it. I think I got to sack off my Zapdos. Do I want to? I, I, I don't want to, but... <laughs> so bad. Uh, actually, I'm kind of thinking about this. The Arcanine could be a good switch. But yeah, I think I'll just go for another Heat Wave. It's all I've really got at this point. It's going to sucker punch me. I'll get the safe switch. The hacks are just against me. Oh, man. By the way, I forgot to mention new. My heat wave missed again. Did he use? Ugh! So bad. Oh my lord. Why game? Why? He is life orb. It's good to know. Your sharps are usually life orb though. All right. Well. I just had to say, I made myself a layout. I just, just I just figured an overlay would be nice for this and streaming and stuff. So he knows he got the Defiant boost, and he's going to stay in. Burn him. We're burning the Bisharp. I know Defiance on this Bisharp, but I really wanted this to happen. I want this Bisharp burned. It's going to have .75 attack. Sucker Punch comes in. Fails. Yeah, exactly. That's why. That's why. What? What? Now what are you going to do to my diggers feet? What? I want to see you do something to this. Let's go. Ooh, actually, I could be a real dick here. He's going to keep going for Sucker Punch. We know it. He's just going to keep going for Sucker Punch. I can keep on switching out. <laughs> I could do that. Yeah, here's what I'll do. Here is what I'll do. How heavy is Scizor? I don't know. That would be a good thing to know right now. Bisharp switches out. Lando T comes in and intimidates. Ooh. We'll burn. It's kind of a weird thing to sack it off like that. Not sure what he was going for there. Maybe he thought my Diggers V was going to come in. Or was my Diggersby in? Yeah, my Diggersby was in. He wanted to intimidate it. I forgot if my Diggersby was in. <laughs> this isn't great so far. Alright then. Hydreigon. Now it's gonna try and Dark Pulse the fuck out of me. What do I wanna do here? I could go and just stay with the sword stance. I don't know. Let's just go for the sword stance. I'm worried about this, actually. Like, really worried. Flamethrower. I didn't... Why didn't I expect that? That's a big mistake. Well, yeah, he's gonna keep on trying to go for a flamethrower. So... I'll switch out to the Arcanine. And it might switch out to the Bisharp. Wow, I just realized, if I get this... Freaking Hydreigon out. I could possibly sweep with my Diggersby. My Azelf isn't that necessary anymore. It's one thing. Now, what do I want to go for here? This is a decision right here that I'm not sure about. If I go for the Well Wisp, we could switch in the Scizor. Which I don't think will happen. I'm going to go for the Flamethrower. It's gonna hit the Bisharp or the Scissor really hard. So. This'll work out. Alright, I've been on for 15 minutes. Bisharp comes in. I expected that. Now, what is he gonna switch into? Hydreigon? 
clearly what he wants. He wants the Dark Postman. I gotta burn the Hydreigon now, actually. Since I can't poison it, the burn will be the best. Let's just go for the burn. It's gonna Dark Pulse me, it's obvious. Man, it'd be so nice if, if it wasn't Scarfed. And I, as Elf, could just outspeed and hit it with a Dazzling Gleam. Because that kills any Hydreigon. Dark Pulse comes in. And I burn it. Alright. Well. We know it's going to go for a Dark Pulse. This is bad. This is really bad. I don't think the E speed will be enough. And that's what worries me. I want to keep it for my Scizor. Yep, let's switch out to the Azelf and just sack it off. And then it'll lose and it'll be at 27%. And that's why I think an extreme speed will be able to do some work. And if that works out, then it works out. So now, yeah. I think there should be one out speed when it's it, it's probably max. Ooh, actually, it's probably max special attack. Alright. Please show down lag, don't make me. Okay, I got it. Extreme speed's obvious here, so I'm going for it. <laughs> Please. They're only giving me 40 seconds, too. This sucks. Showdown does that. No! It didn't do enough. That's the battle. He got the win. Alright. Oh, I just gotta keep on going for the earthquake. Gotta EQ to win. Come on, Diggersby! I built the team around you! Can you pull through? I think he wins, though. Honestly, it's not going to do enough to the Mammoth Swine, it's not going to do enough to the Scizor. It'll do enough to the Gardevoir, but... Earthquake. Actually, Return. Why am I not going... Return's the better option. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. EQ. I got an EQ. Because it's going to be resisted by the Scizor. Ah, oh, man. And that's a choice card, man, this one. I'll tell you that right now. Bullet Punch comes in. Earthquake! No! No, 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 no. Well, that's the battle. You tried your best, Diggersby. You tried your best. Well, yeah. I guess I can just wrap it up now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to comment in the comments below what Pokemon you want to see next week. And also, what song you want to be heard in the bathroom. Uh, in, in, in the... <laughs> in the background, not in the bathroom. Please make sure er, to comment below what song you want to be heard in the bathroom. Yeah, let's go with that. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully we can pull through next time. Peace.